Hi everybody. So today's meditation um, is going to be about past thinking and future thinking um, and really maybe a little bit of self-exploration of where you might fit in with all of that um, and trying to stay present. I know especially with what's going on in the world right now with everything, um, a lot of us tend to have a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, um, you know, thinking about how things are going to change, um, maybe reflecting about how things used to be, good and bad, and um, you know, the funny thing is that our minds and the way we think, while we can physically exist in the present, um, mentally we can be living somewhere completely else. So, um, you know, maybe you're living in the past, so you're lost in, in bad memories, good memories, and you're constantly reliving that. Or maybe you're a future thinking kind of person where you're looking forward to when, you know, a problem will resolve or you're fearing something that might go wrong. Um, most people tend to gravitate either towards that past thinking or the future thinking. So. Um, I'm going to maybe give you some cues so you can think about if anything sounds like maybe this could be you. Um, so past thinkers, um, they tend to either reminisce about good times um, that once happened or again they're lost in a memory of a bad experience with bad feelings and sometimes the past thinker will focus on these events and, and a lot of wondering of what if. You know, what if I said this? What if I did that? Um, you know, it's not going to change anything. Um, so when we're living in the past, we're rejecting the present and missing out on opportunities for fulfillment and healing that are around us now. Um, future thinkers, they tend to dread something that will happen that may happen, um, they worry about something just that it might happen, um, or they fantasize about things that could happen. Um, and so again, the problem here is that none of these things have happened, and so they're, they're just impossible scenarios to prepare for. Um, when we lose ourselves to thinking about the future, we again re reject that whole present moment and we miss out on opportunities for fulfillment around us. Um, so whether you find yourself to be more of a past thinker or a future thinker, um, you know, and you can be a combination of the two. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I know I do this myself, oh, what if, what if, and then you start thinking and that ruminating thing. Um, so we're not going to beat ourselves up over anything. It's just something that you're going to look into yourself and maybe acknowledge and maybe you can stop it right there. Um, it's a practice, really a practice. Um, but our brains and our bodies, you know, sometimes they, they can't tell the difference um, between something imagined and something real. And sometimes this creates stress and the, the things that stress can do to our bodies is not good. So we're gonna try to work on um, staying present. Um, trying to think about, yeah, for past thinkers. Uh, another point to bring up on past thinkers, if we imagine something really scary or upsetting from before, we'll find ourselves in the present moment re-experiencing those hurtful feelings now. So we're really putting ourselves through something twice. Um, for future thinkers, if we imagine something scary coming up, um, and whatever that looks like to you, it could be different. Um, our bodies will begin to respond now to the anxiety that we might be feeling in the future. Um, so in either case, our blood pressure, um, it might begin to rise. Our brains might start releasing that, that stress hormone cortisol. Um, and sometimes our nervous system might even kick in and engage in that fight or flight um, response. So again, just acknowledging when your brain is wandering and you're off thinking about, oh, this happened, whatever happened, um, trying to bring it back. So we are going to do some exercises with that shortly. Um, 
In the present moment, we're not only safe and far away from anything that happened in the past, um, but we're also safe from anything that hasn't happened yet. Um, so again, just pay attention to what is going around you now. Okay, so here's an experiment that we're going to do together. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being low, 10 this, um, the high, how anxious do you feel? And this is for you to answer. Don't answer on, on Facebook. You don't need to put in the comments on how you're answering. This is just for you right now to reflect. And maybe how sad do you feel? On a scale of 1 to 10. How angry do you feel? And this is right now. Um, if you're feeling some different emotion, you can feel free to give that feeling a number as well. And if you want, you can even write those numbers down on a scrap piece of paper. Um, and then now what I want you to do is just find yourself, if you're not already seated comfortably, go ahead and find that comfortable seat. Um, remove any of the distractions around you. So if you've got a radio on or TV, um, whatever's around you. And you can go ahead and fold your hands, just place them on your lap. And place your feet solidly on the ground. And if you can, sit up straight so that you're comfortable yet relaxed. And in this position, just start noticing the pace of your breathing and try to slow it down. So I'm going to recommend starting with the count of three. So you're going to breathe in for one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Pause briefly and let out your breath slowly for the same one, one thousand two one thousand three one thousand so go ahead we're going to practice that breath for a few moments if you'd like to close your eyes you can close your eyes but breathing in one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand pause exhale one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand Pause. Inhale, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Pause. Exhale, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. So now that you've got a good sense of that pace and you've got a good handle on your breath, start paying attention to the sensation of the air as it's moving in through your nostrils. So breathing in through your nose. Is the air warm? Is it cold? And notice if you can hear yourself breathing in. Is there a sound to your breath as you breathe in? What does that sound like? And does the sound change as you breathe out? So now all you have to do is just continue to practice this deep breathing. So you're going to do this not by trying to do it, but just by relaxing and noticing the way that you're breathing. Continue one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, pause. And let it out slowly, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand continue to focus on your breath just like that and now once you have this good handle on your breath again just stay there with it and over time your mind is going to wander your, your mind is a very busy thing and that's its natural tendency to want to wander and that's the challenge is to continue to focus one one thousand Two one thousand, three one thousand. Pause. Exhale. 
one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. So as you begin to maybe start thinking about the past or the future again, it's okay. You, you may even be thinking about the past going, oh shoot, I just messed up. It's okay, bring it back. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Pause, exhale. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So this is an old habit where our brain is going to want to keep on thinking of something else and it's we're just going to have to just keep practicing. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking and you're going to remain comfortably seated, tall and relaxed, and just breathe for three counts in, pausing, and then three counts out. And just continue to notice the sound and feeling of your breath as it moves into your lungs, is held, and is then released. And without keeping too hard of a count of your breath, see if you can count to about 20. And if you'd like, you can do more. And again, you can close your eyes and do this with your eyes closed. And notice a difference with your eyes closed versus your eyes open. Did you make it to 20? Maybe, maybe not. Did your mind wander? Probably. Yeah, that's okay. Um, just think for yourself, what was that like for you? Um, did it seem to maybe cause a little stress for you to have to keep bringing it back? If you closed your eyes, um, just take a moment to look at your surroundings again. And notice if your eyes were closed versus open, did you find yourself a little bit more focused and able to concentrate on your counting and your breath with your eyes closed? A lot of times if our eyes are open, um, there's a lot of distractions around us. Um, maybe we have those what I call squirrel moments where like, you know, the dogs with the squirrels looking around. And now uh, we're actually going to check in with the same 1 to 10 scale that we started with and reevaluate your sense of anxiety. Um, so reflect of maybe where you are right now and on a scale of 1 to 10, where is that anxiety in you right now? And 1 to 10, the sadness. 1 to 10 anger and if you wrote down another answer or had another feeling you were feeling um, maybe reevaluate that um, and, and just notice are your numbers the same or did they change and if so in what ways and again this is just your personal reflection no need to respond to anything um, if you are somebody that likes to respond, you can always journal your answers and write them down. Um, so again, for some of you, this exercise may have been relaxing, and for others of you, you may have had a, a profound change in your feelings of the anxiety and the sadness and the anger. Um, maybe some of you felt absolutely nothing, and that's fine too. Um, Sometimes people, they, they misunderstand um, about meditation is that we don't meditate, but whether it's a practice. Um, and sometimes meditation just happens to us. So it's definitely something we keep coming back to and maybe it worked right now in this moment, maybe it didn't, but you just keep practicing and keep bringing it back. Um, so throughout your day, um, as you find yourself continuing to go back to thinking about your past or your future, um, it's okay. It's okay. Just maybe um, this exercise will help you realize that you have control over your mind 
and what it thinks about. So practice guiding it in a way that you would a new puppy with compassion, kindness, and patience. So that is all for today. And um, there is the quote. It's been in a few things, so I, I'm not going to quote who it's by. It said it was in Kung Fu Panda, but yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. And that is why it's called the present. Enjoy and keep coming back anytime that your mind is wandering. Just come back to the present and find your breath. All right. Hope you all have a great day. Take care.